हरि सुंदर नंद मुकुंद हरि नारायण हरि ओम हरि केशव हरि गोविंद हरि नारायण हरि ओम हरि सुंदर नंद मुकुंद हरि नारायण हरि ओम आओ रे कान्हा रे गोकुल गोकुल प्यारे नित नित कर माकन चोरी गोपी मन मान हरि सुंदर नंद मुकुंद हरि नारायण हरि ओम Oh, just uttering the name of the, the Lord. Reminisce, you reminisce and you go deep inside your experiences. And from those experiences then you decide, you realize how far you have come towards your moksha and liberation. You know, pay, paying allegiance to the flag of the country that you belong to, like here we're looking at the American flag, that John F. Kennedy would have asked, ask not what is your right, but ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And Krishna Bhagwan would have said, ask not what is your right, but what is your duty to society and to your country. That when I remember taking allegiance to the flag and taking citizenship, it's a responsibility because it might seem like, okay, it's something else but to take that responsibility and pay allegiance to the flag you have to uphold it in many ways you don't come here for the benefit of the country because okay it's there available for everyone but when you come you have to serve society in any country and america is it's a great land it's a great country and it's setting example it will it's always gone through so many wars and it lifted itself back up and controversies and um, so in India do you play allegiance to the Indian flag and whatever country you may be you know the Gita Dhyanam which is recited before chanting Gita it looks at the characters and the greatness of Gita that mother Gita we call Mother Gita and the Gita Dhyanam and it talks about the characters and give them um, um, give them examples of who these personalities are and then it talks about how you can go and you rever show rever to our saints and sages through the chanting of the hymns let us chant the Gita Dhyanam Om Parthaya Pratibhuritam Bhagavata Narayanena Swayam Vyasena Gratitam Purana Munina Madhye Mahabharatam Advaitam Ritavarshinim Bhagavatim Ashtadashadhyayinim Ambatam Manusantatani Bhagavad Gita Bhavadveshinim Namo Astate Vyasa Vishala Buddhi Polala Vindayata Patra Netra Yena Twaya Bharata Taila Purna Prajwalito Gyana Maya Pradipaha Prapanna Parijatayam Tutra Vetrai Kapanaye Gyana Mudraye Krishna Gitam Ritam Duhenam Sarvo Panishado Gavo Dugdago Palanandana Partha Vatsa Sudhir Bhukta Dugdam Gitam Ritam Mahat Vasudevam Sutam Devam Kansa Chanura Maradhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Bhishma Dronata Tajayadra Tajala Gandharani Lotpala Shalya Gravati Kripena Bahuni Karanena Bela Kula Aswatama Vikarana Gora Makara Duryodhana Vartini Sotirana Kalu Pandavaira Nanadi Kaivarta Kaha Keshava Parashaya Vachasaroja Mamalam Gitarta Gandat Katam Nana Kyana Kakesharam Harigata Sambodana Boditam 
लोके सज्जन सत्पत रहरा पेपिया मन मुध भूयत भारत पंकजम कलिमला प्रदंब सीन श्रेयसी मुकंकरोटि वाचाल पंगुंगलंगयते गिरी यत्तमहम वंदे परमानंदमाधव यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्रदुत्रमरत स्तुनिवंति दिव्यस्तव वेरय संग पद क्रमोपनिषद गायंग सामग ध्यानवस्थितगते न मनस पश्यती यंग योगिनो यशा न विदो सुरासुरगन देवाय तस्म नमो नम देवाय तस्म नमो नम How beautiful it is let us pay adorations to surya narayan he's so bright this morning om bhur bhuvasva tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo na prachodayat om bhur bhuvasva tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi धियो यो न प्रचोदयत ओं भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्धीम धियो यो न प्रचोदयत ओं अदरेशंस दूर्य नारायण एंड अलट इस टू अदरेशंस टू द गुरु ध्यान मूल गुरुर्मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपरम मंत्रमूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्षमूल गुरु कृपा एंड द गुरु इज द सन ऑल्सो बिकॉज द गुरु स्वामी प्रणवानंद जी ही वुड हैव सेड दैट यू नो ही इज द ब्रह्मा ही इज द विष्णु ओम नमो श्री भगवते प्रणवाय ओम नमो श्री भगवते प्रणवाय तुम ही ब्रह्मा विष्णु तुम ही महेश्वर देवादिदेवा महादेवाय नम ओं नमो श्री भगवते प्रणवाय ओं नमो श्री भगवते प्रणवाय सो वन वी डू अडोरेशन टू द सन एंड ऑल द डायटीज वी रियली डूइंग इट द गुरु बिकॉज द गुरु इज एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम हिम दैट ही केम आउट ऑफ दैट nothingness of consciousness and here he is in the in this mandir of ours heart water fire air and space these are murtis and then we worship them because they sustain us they're inside of us and also the life force yesterday i was talking to one of our swami ji in hardwar and he was saying how oh preparations for kumbh mela is coming on in hardwar and i will one thing that came to my mind that one couple of years ago when the kumbh mela was there i had the opportunity of going but i was hesitant so to clear things up i went to swami bhaveshananda swami ji he has passed away and he is a highly elevated soul he has created so many ashram ashram especially in south india in rameshwaram in kanyakumari and minjur chennai and pushkar and bangalore and he was in charge of the ashram in banaras so i went and i saw him ji um i'm thinking i'm not sure about this pilgrimage to going to haridwar for kumbh mela and he looked at me says ah uh, you know i i know who you are you don't have to go anywhere the pilgrimage that you need to go to is the feet of the guru and he is in the mandir here he had spent his last days in that room that he lived in god lived in that room you go and you do meditation there and that's where the all the pilgrimages how beautiful he said right that we are looking for things here and there but indeed i've done a lot of pilgrimage in myself going to the himalayas and going to the tip of rameshwaram where bhagwan sri ram would have crossed and go to lanka and with with uh, hanuman ji and all this um 
after you do it, the pilgrimage, you internalize them in Ujjain, the same thing. But the greatest pilgrimage is the life of our life. That when we go deeper and deeper and we come out from the mundane plane, then you find out how ridiculous it is and how insignificant it is that the things that we pay attention and importance before we go to that place, before we do life's pilgrimage and go and delve deeper and deeper. Because in meditation with the blessings of the Guru, he will um, keep pull you and let you clear the way for you to go and, and go and find out who you really are. And then this is so great. So pilgrimages are so important, but then they have to go directly. And this is the blessings of Guru and, and the Swamiji that I was talking to, he's so highly evolved soul also. Sanjay Maharaj, he have done a lot of um, pil um, austerities in the caves in the Himalayas and we started the ashram together. Well, he started it and I came in, we came in and we helped him and we have a beautiful building shouting out to the, uh, the ashram in Nepal. They're doing so wonderful work there in these COVID times. So pilgrimages are so important and serving society is pilgrimage because then you, you are going into a journey and leaving behind what is normal. And, and then you, read, you discover some beautiful things. You come out from a pleasurable state where you do bodily enjoyment and you go to a place of bliss and then you come and you become godlike. This is such a powerful thing that we all have to take it. Swamiji Nirliptanji has passed away and he left his body. Now we, if we are very good and we are very dedicated and committed and we make human effort, we'll get God's grace. And what that God's grace will be is like, when we are alive, we will have gone through the whole process of going to, we'll be experiencing our death, the bodily death why we're still alive because when you exit through your sadhana your spiritual practice every morning and you go and you, you go and become consciousness then you sustain it through the day and we have to be very careful that sometimes we want to socialize but the socializing instead of being of any help it's more harm yes we are gregarious creatures we're not an island by ourselves all of community but as a sannyas, you know, you go and your relationship to the rest of the world is for the welfare of the ashram. It's welfare for society and it's limited to that. So, you know, we have to be very careful when we try to socialize because then you be move, you're not going into a place of pilgrimage, but you're moving away from pilgrimage. And that can be very dangerous for your spiritual life. So this morning, let us keep this in mind that pilgrimages we have to do but the greatest of pilgrimage is when we go inside and we find out everything the lord is so blessed blessing us by creating this covid so that we have to go inside that when loved ones pass away it is a stark reminder that we have to travel we have to go into this life pilgrimage much more faster and this morning we give you the blessings of Acharya Deo and all the deities and all religious, all religions. Let us go beyond religion and our pilgrimage is to go into spiritual life. The Christ, the Buddha, these are all stark examples of, of, um, of, of gurus that would take us there. We have pay adorations to Lord Shiva, Krishna Bhagavan, Mother Durga and all the deities that you would have um, enjoyed. Om Om Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Well where are you in your progress toward your moksha? Are you going to get it this time? Are you exerting yourself? You're making your human effort? If not, then start right away. 
Remember, you take care of yourself spiritually and then all around you, all those around you will enjoy it. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om.